The next presentation uh, will be made from Japan International Cooperation Agency uh, senior advisor. Mr. Amano uh, will uh, give the presentation on the applications of the uh, Fukuoka method in Pacific Island countries. Mr. Amano, please. As was introduced, I am Amano from JICA, uh, Dr. Matsui, and the Fukuoka City. Uh, thank you so much for bringing me this wonderful opportunity to speak uh, to you. And so I will talk about the applications of a Fukuoka method in Pacific Island countries. So at first, a little bit of introduction to Pacific Island countries and JICA's cooperation in this region. In the Pacific region, there are 14 countries listed uh, here are uh, targeted by the Japanese government to provide ODA, Micronesia, Malaysia, and Polynesia, as shown in the different color here on this slide. And the uh, Japanese uh, government, through JICA, started its systematic assistance to Pacific Island countries in the field of solid waste management in 2000 after PALM, Japan Pacific Leaders Meeting, which was held in Miyazaki. So for the last 20 years, JICA has been assisting uh, various uh, project bilaterally, regionally, using various schemes such as technical cooperation, dispatch of volunteers, providing equipment in order to improve SWM in Pacific Island countries. So let's uh, have a look at examples of landfills rehabilitated using Fukuoka method in PICs. Pacific Islands have many different geographical features and at the bottom, uh, closer to Japan, we have some inland landfill, others, the landfills you can find uh, in the uh, ocean or wetland areas. So this uh, slide shows uh, over the last uh, 20 years of JICA assistance in the Pacific region. About 80% as you can see on as highlighted in yellow, about 80% somehow the Fukuoka method has been applied. And the first uh, Fukuoka uh, method was introduced uh, in Samoa, Tafai Gata Landfill, as was mentioned by Dr. Matsui. And it shows a quick uh, history. In 1990, it was opened, and it continued to be open. But from 2002 to 2003, Fukuoka method was uh, introduced for improvement. And in 2005, with the uh, Fukuoka city assistance, Lee Shed, the treatment facility was set. And uh, 2008, on-site uh, training uh, was given with the uh, assistant of Suban Fukuoka. And two cells were added after that. And 25, uh, 20, uh, 15 and 2080, big fire occurred. Uh, this is a picture uh, before JICA intervention, quite typical uh, open dumping site. And also this picture shows a process of improvement. 2002, November to 2005, up until then. And actually, uh, this uh, is a facility for lease shed was established in 2005, and also two major uh, facilities were at 2009 and 2013. Uh, this much uh, facility was complete. And 2015 and 2018, the major uh, fire 
uh, took place. Uh, the facilities got uh, damaged a great deal. And so uh, this is the current situation. Uh, it looks much better, as you can see. And compared to the earlier stage, uh, two-thirds of the venting gas pipes were uh, damaged and gone. The next is about uh, Republic of Palau. I'm sure you are familiar uh, with this location, sightseeing uh, location. The project uh, started when the landfill uh, looked like this. Uh, so this is a hotel, by the way. Right next to the site, you can see the hotel. Terrible condition. But here shows a process of improvement. Uh, in 1970s, now this uh, site, there was a dredged uh, coral. So uh, project started 2005. And at that time, uh, you can see the uh, landfill took place at a high level. And after that, uh, there was a further improvement. And the Palau government uh, did uh, proper management. So uh, they again added uh, the soil so to make sure the facility will be maintained in the long run. And the Japanese government was happy about it. And last year, uh, they provided uh, the grant and constructed a new landfill in another island. This is a Papua New Guinea case. Uh, nearby uh, their capital, uh, this is a landfill situation, again, open dump situation. About 400 or 500 waste pickers, the people uh, corrected the garbage like this. So as you can see, organic matters they are collecting, mostly women and children are working at the site. And this is uh, the picture in the process of a rehabilitation. So waste uh, pickers as well are hired, now employed by the site. Uh, they are now involved in improvement activities. Uh, the planning and the dining were done uh, by the local engineer counterparts. Uh, he he received the training of Fukuoka method at JICA Ken Kyushu Center in Japan. This is the current uh, situation. Look much better than before and well managed. And this uh, is a picture when they received the uh, NHK broadcasting interviews. But the problem is that even the site has been improved. The local government not able to properly manage or maintain the landfill after the rehabilitation. So this is a Banatsu uh, facility, and uh, the they had the rehabilitation uh, 2008, and it just so happened that it was well done, managed well, beautifully. However, in 2015. Uh, quite a poor condition came back again. You may wonder why. So let me think about uh, the reason why. Uh, quite a typical uh, not good case. So open dump in order to improve a uh, new facility is uh, built or a big uh, scale improvement are done. Uh, so uh, not able to properly manage because the um, municipal uh, government not able to generate the cost, and there is no human resource to maintain the Fukuoka method there. So Banuat case uh, was a case uh, where the cost was not there uh, for the management or operation of the Fukuoka method. It became back to the open dump site. 
So the question is how you can do、uh, the proper management. There are two actually issues. One is、uh, to make sure to always have the、uh, engineers, human resources, and training. And number two, in order to do the daily cost, the cost for operation is a must. And these two h a s to be given. And only by so doing,、uh, the proper operation、uh, function、uh, can be in place. But if not,、uh, then there will be improper operation and loss of important functions of a Fukuoka method. How can we do to avoid that? First, first is.、Uh, As much as possible, develop local experts and let them do, operate, and manage the facility and also convey that knowledge to the people around them.、Uh, so, this is a slide I showed you earlier. There are 15 sites, landfill sites, and about half of them, local. Uh, technicians actually were assigned and conduct、uh, the various、uh, rehabilitation improvement activities. And then the second uh, challenge uh, is to do with the funding to manage cost. How can we secure the enough fund? The tax,、uh, prepaid garbage bags. Waste fee collections.、Uh, there are various methodologies available. So, by doing them,、uh, secure the enough fund to keep or maintain the condition. And here shows a wrap up、uh, today. What I want to emphasize is highlighted in red here. Without appropriate effort, landfills are prone to return to open dumping because it is the easiest and the least expensive shortcut method of waste disposal. So, in order to prevent it, as I have mentioned earlier,、uh, the human resource、uh, management and to Make sure to have、uh, the good fund to properly manage and use、uh, the facility. We need to、uh, give the assistant for that. Having said that, I would like to conclude my remarks. Thank you very much for your kind attention.